Fort Wayne Sports History, a short photo story by Chris Treft. Fort Wayne, Indiana, a city nestled right in the heart of the Midwest, is well known for its great past as a city. But one thing that tends to get overlooked is the great sports history of Fort Wayne. So I've compiled the top 10 greatest things in Fort Wayne sports history that sometimes go forgotten. It was mighty hard to select just 10, but here is a photo story of the top 10 of Fort Wayne sports history with all pictures taken by myself. Let's start things off at number 10 with the volleyball player, Loyal Ball. Loyal was born in Fort Wayne, Indiana in 1972 and then grew up in nearby Woodburn, Indiana where he attended Woodland High School until attending IPFW to play volleyball. After launching that program into a national powerhouse, he went on to play in four Olympics for the United States volleyball team, including winning a gold medal in 2008. Number nine is the beautiful Parkview Field in downtown Fort Wayne. This state-of-the-art ballpark was completed in 2009 to house Fort Wayne's minor league baseball team, the Fort Wayne Tin Caps. In addition to many great Tin Caps games the park has seen, including the 2010 Midwest League All-Star Game, Parkview Field has brought a variety of different sporting events to Fort Wayne, such as college soccer and many high school and college baseball games. Number eight is Fort Wayne native Demarcus Beasley. After a great soccer career at Southside High School, he went on to play professionally in the United States and in Europe. He's represented the United States many times internationally and actually is the first American to ever play in four World Cups. Next up is the Allen County War Memorial Coliseum. After its erection in 1952, the Coliseum has hosted so many great teams and events. Topping off this list is the Fort Wayne Comets, who have been in the building since its erection and won numerous championships here in Fort Wayne at the Coliseum. They've also had the Fort Wayne Pistons, they've hosted an NBA All-Star Game, and many more great sporting events have come through the Coliseum and will continue to do so. This great building has remained virtually unchanged since 1952, with the exception of a few recent upgrades. The Coliseum and its legacy will remain the monument of Fort Wayne sports history for years to come. Number six is the Fort Wayne Pistons. Before moving to Detroit in 1957, the Pistons of the NBA played in Fort Wayne as the Fort Wayne Zollner Pistons. They played in the Summit City from 1941 to 1957. Originally, the Pistons played their home games at Northside High School until the completion of the Coliseum in 1952. The Pistons truly brought so much great basketball to Fort Wayne in their 16 seasons before the move to Detroit. Number five is the Fort Wayne Comets hockey team. The Comets originated in 1952 and have been in Fort Wayne ever since. This is the second longest streak of any minor league hockey team, second to the Hershey Bears. During their 61 seasons as a franchise, they've won an astounding nine championships in that time. Not only have the Comets been such an important part to Fort Wayne sports history, they've made their mark on a national scale as well. The Comets will continue to electrify large Fort Wayne crowds for years to come. Number four is the first baseball game under the lights. On June 2nd, 1883, Fort Wayne Kikiangas hosted the Quincy Professionals for one of the first lighted baseball games ever recorded. Nowadays, with all the baseball games being played at nighttime, it's hard to forget that night back in 1883. Number three is another baseball first, the first ever professional baseball game. On May 4th, 1871 in Fort Wayne, a baseball game happened between the Fort Wayne Kikiangas and the Cleveland Forest Cities. It was rained out on the top of the ninth with the Kikiangas ahead 2 to nothing. This may seem just like a normal game, but it happened to be the first ever professional baseball game. Number two is the formation of the NBA. Then owner of the Fort Wayne Pistons, Fred Zollner, brokered the merger of the BAA and the MBL in 1949 from his kitchen table in a small house on Alexander Street. This meeting would eventually lead to the formation of the National Basketball Association. Nowadays, nothing remains of the house in which the NBA was formed, but this is still a great event in Fort Wayne sports history as it led to the creation of one of the biggest sports leagues in all the world. Number one and the greatest thing to happen in Fort Wayne sports history is Rod Woodson. After a great high school career at Snyder High School, he went on to Purdue University to stand out and eventually be drafted into the National Football League. He went on to have an unbelievable professional playing career which lasted 10 seasons with stints in Pittsburgh, Baltimore, San Francisco, and Oakland, including winning a Super Bowl with the Baltimore Ravens. His 71 career interceptions are third most all-time in NFL history. 
He was inducted in the class of 2009 to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio on August 8, 2009. Today, whenever entering the city limits of Fort Wayne, you will see a sign that proudly reads, Hometown of Rod Woodson, NFL Hall of Fame, 2009.